Hello everyone, this is RJ and I want to welcome you for joining me today at this time as we continue to pray and read throughout the scriptures. And today will be our last day uh, going through 1 Timothy. I hope that this letter has helped you and uh, help you to understand the heart of Paul and also the call to discipleship. And as we continue on uh, this journey tomorrow, we'll switch back onto our Bishop's Challenge of going through the topical Bible reading, and we will start a new journey uh, dealing with self-control. So this is how Timothy, uh, 1 Timothy is ended. Paul continues his uh, exhortation to the people, and he talks about riches. And this is what he says. Tell people who are rich at the time not to become egotistical and not to place their hope on their finances, which are uncertain. Instead, they need a hope in God who richly provides everything for our enjoyment. Tell them to do good, to be rich in the good things they do, and to be generous and to share with others. When they do these things, they will save a treasure for themselves that is good foundation for the future. That way, they can take hold of what is truly life. We might not acknowledge it, but we're all rich. We're all rich because we are in a position that at least we might not be worrying about what to eat tonight. A lot of the times we forget how rich we are and how rich we can be by continuing to follow God's will. And what Paul says is, of course that was, we're dealing with the people who, who had a lot of money, yes, but it is really more onto the core of how we should live. Our live, our goal of life should be uh, living in a goal for spirit, being spiritually enriched, not physically rich. And with all the blessings that God pours out into our lives, what we are called to do is continue to give and continue to see how God pours out in our lives so we can continue that mission. A lot of times the reason why that does not happen is because we stop doing what God is asking us to do. But when we add, when we follow the will of God, God who pours out richly, God who provides, but also God who continues to walk with us in this journey will richly fill our lives and our spirit. And I ask that we will have our goal and aim to be enriched in spirit more than to be rich in money. So let us have a time to pray. Lord, we thank you for this day that we can come together. We're grateful because of your love always that provides that sustains and that blesses us. Lord, be with us today as we start a new day, maybe as we pause throughout the day, or maybe as we are completing this day. May you be with us and help us to understand how we are to become a blessing unto the world, how we are spiritually enriched because of your presence in our lives. So may you be with us, Lord. May you continue to bless us so we can become a blessing unto this world.
And there's a continuing call that we should follow. And that call is to intercede for this world. And at this moment, as this nation is going through the dual pandemic, interceding for this nation. Let us pray that God will continue to reign upon the situation, that God will heal this land, the land that is suffering from COVID-19 and also the virus of racism. Let us pray and intercede and let us see how God works and heals. Let us pray. Now join me in the prayer that our bishop asks us to pray every day. <clears throat> Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we thank you for your blessings, past, present, and future. You are a rock and the source of our hope in all things and at all times. As Jehovah Jireh, our provider God, we ask you this day to stretch out your mighty hand and eradicate from the face of the earth forever. This virus called COVID-19 that is spreading rapidly from continent to continent. We also pray that you, Jehovah Rapha, our healing God, will place your hand upon all those who have been stricken by this virus and restore them to full health. Be with those who have lost loved ones and are grieving. Protect all who are caring for those with this virus and keep them from contracting it themselves. Calm our fears and provide us with your peace that surpasses all understanding and strengthen us with the joy of the Lord and help us to hold firmly to the hope that only you can provide. Unify us that we, the Virginia Annual Conference, may be able to experience anew the promise of your presence in and through the unity of our faith, hope, and trust. In you in the days ahead and forever, we offer this prayer in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. And let us pray the prayer that our Lord hath taught us. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you once more for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. May we continue to do the good. And may we continue to become a blessing unto this world. Bye-bye.